slash ask reddit what conspiracy theory do you believe to be true what evidence led you to this conclusion the usa will never add colleges to public funding like they did high schools because then the enlistment rate for the military would plummet source everyone i know who joined the service just to help pay for school PETA was formed by meat companies to make animal rights activists look like idiots edit reasoning the majority of animal rights activists don't like PETA. PETA wastes a lot of their own time calling out video games and cartoons, and they have killed many stray dogs for not being purebreds. I might have gotten some of the details of that last one wrong though. Well if it's true they are doing a fantastic job. That Gabon is ready to release Half-Life 3, but is polishing it so that when it comes out, it is the best game ever created. This has to be the least believable one in the whole thread. All the UFO sightings throughout history are just humans from the future on a time traveling safari meant to observe how we were in the past. They are supposed to keep out of sight, but thanks to human slash mechanical errors there have been hiccups with their cloaking which have resulted in being seen. That's why there have always been so many reports of them throughout history, but there has never been an attack. It's just us. Also the reason why we don't see many as many examples of UFOs now even through pretty much everyone has a camera is because people are not that interested in this time period since we already document aspects of human life all the time. Restaurant owners know how awkward it is to be sung to in front of the whole establishment, and they do it to discourage people from taking advantage of their free birthday food. All my devices listen in on me. The other day I was arguing with my dad about some chicken I thought had gone off. It was frozen for about a month so we weren't too sure but my dad was insistent that it was still edible. Dad decided to ask Google, and lo and behold the related searches even from the first letter were, is chicken edible after being frozen for a month and how long can you freeze chicken before it goes off? Also, my mum and I use this tactic where if we need to ring up a company about something and it puts us in a queue, we swear at it. It then puts you on a priority list and you don't have to wait as long. Kinda sketchy on the company's behalf. The lines on the detergent caps are higher than they should be so you use more detergent for each load of laundry. It's so easy for them to get away with it. Toothpaste is the same. Also hand and dish soap being dispensed is generally at a greater amount than needed to lather. I don't necessarily believe this, but I've always speculated that a lot of priceless artwork and historical documents are actually replicas or copies. Obviously a painting by a world famous artist using a very specific technique would be very hard to fake, and I don't think that every art scholar in the world is paid off in some grand conspiracy. Rather, I just think that either the national treasures never left their vaults or that some national treasures actually were lost to history but they were copied. If the copy is good enough, old enough, and all we've ever known, does it become a treasure in its own right? The Hawaii nuke false alarm last year was actually the US government testing to see how the, the general population would react if an actual nuclear war broke out. Guys guys guys, if hypothetically there was a hypothetical nuclear bomb heading for, let's say, I dunno, Hawaii, how would you hypothetically react? Gas station owners are the ones putting the card scammers on the pumps. They don't want your info, they want you to distrust pay at the pump so you'll come inside and make an impulse buy. Most stations barely make any money of gas, the money is in the stuff they sell inside. I believe that human civilization may have gotten as advanced as we are now in the distant past. First, anatomically modern humans have been around for soy like 300,000 years. Civilization, from the earliest settlement we know of to today is maybe 20,000 years old. In short, there's absolutely plenty of time to go from Sumerians to Americans nearly 10 times over in the time span between the first modern humans and Sumerians. And given that there's nothing unusual about the humans who built Suma. Second, there are lots of legends about human civilization being destroyed by angry gods, usually because of humans behaving badly. The Greeks had a story like that, the Bible, the Hopi, the Zarathustrians, 
just about any place where there's a record, you can find history of and often prophecies of a catastrophe that in civilization and more often than not, caused by human hubris. Third, there are all kinds of anomalies in history. Egypt has model airplanes. Indian scripture has verminous that sound a lot like airplanes or spacecraft. There's the Pi race map that shows an Antarctica before it had been discovered, and it's accurate. These things don't make sense unless you have people understanding technology near our own level before us. Mason jars created Pinterest to sell more mason jars. I believe that bankers and congress absolutely knew that the housing market was going to bust in the way it did. Why else would they change the bankruptcy laws to be harder to get out from under the foreclosures back in 2005? Three whole years before the collapse. I worked in the industry. They totally knew. I believe that Apple started the wearing AirPods equals cool slash rich meme intentionally to boost sales. They became the best selling wireless earbuds worldwide after the meme. I think a reason we haven't been visited by extraterrestrials is because they don't possess the same motivations as us. We as humans want to explore, we want to expand and grow. Aliens from other planets may have no reason to do that. They might be totally cool with being fully sentient but have no wish to map out their planet, or build. They could be as intelligent as us, or even more so, but just not have that drive to seek out other life like we do. Maybe they even know we're just here with their advanced technology and just don't care. Every time someone posts about a safe on Reddit, they actually have already opened it, and know nothing is in it before their first post. Also, people who never deliver on opening a safe after posting one found some really valuable crap in there and didn't want to put a target on their back. Big Grocer owns media companies and the Weather Channel. Every damn year of my 23 year life every single winter. It's like every two weeks. Guys there's gonna be a huge snowstorm, so make sure you go to the store and pick up some food especially non-perishable food just in case. And nearly every damn time without fail, that 12 to 15 inch snowstorm becomes a 3 inch dusting the night before. Tee hee hee. The warm air from the Gulf miraculously came up to Ohio out of nowhere for the 1000th time so the snowstorm won't be bad. I'm onto you Kroger, Ma, Walmart, and especially you Aldi. No one would expect Aldi. They get the news and weather channel to make it sound like a horrid storm to sell food at a quicker rate, and then conveniently say the night before that the model shifted and we're not gonna get hit. When a comment in one of these threads is removed, it's because it's true and someone with the power to remove it wants it hidden longer. I don't have evidence yet, but if this comment gets removed, then I'll have the evidence but no comment. Edit at 1.30 AM Eastern Standard Time the 23rd of April, 2019. For Pete's saying now they wouldn't delete it because you called out the negative consequences, that was the point of doing so. Got to keep the comment up somehow. I believe that the government probably makes some conspiracy theories to try to make questioning the government seem somewhat crazy. There is a conspiracy theory about the flat earth movement being just that. I wrote a complaint online about my pizza place about them cancelling my order without telling me, and the next order I got from them was clucked up. The pizza was way way undercooked, and not cut, and they didn't include the ranch that I always get with it. Also when I called to tell them about the cluck up, the manager seemed unapologetic and also like he already knew what I was talking about before I called. My conspiracy is that they retaliated since I basically reported them to corporate through their website with my initial complaint. I got a free pizza on my account with them for this but decided just to not order from them anymore. Mediocre pizza anyway. This is by far the most disturbing event in this thread. Oil and car companies used fear-mongering and assassins to stop electric or innovative cars from development in the 20th century. There was this guy who designed a car with an engine in the front and headlights which turned as the front wheels turned and he was assassinated. Others have designed cars powered by water or magnets were also killed. The government pushes out tons of conspiracy theories so that the real ones don't stand out. Like the episode of The Office where Michael let slip that Stanley was cheating so he made up rumors about everybody to hide it. I don't have any evidence, but it seems hard to deny. Ryan started the fire. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, 
please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more edit videos like this. Don't forget to smash that like button and stay crispy guys.